What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out the Optimate 2 Duo. It's going to be a battery charger and maintainer. I got it hooked up to my car because the battery's kind of low. Let's check it out. So I kind of messed up, and I ran the radio with the car and auxiliary for a little bit longer than I meant to, so it really dropped the battery. So I was worried about the battery not having a full charge or getting a full charge as I was driving around. Luckily, we were doing the video on the Duo 2, so I hooked that up, and I saw that it was yellow. So it was not a full charge on the battery and we left it on there for about an hour or so and it got my battery back up to the green light which means it's fully charged and that's going to be great because I don't have to worry about that running out on me anymore. So we're going to go over the LEDs right here. You got the first one here, it means it's powered on, it is getting power. This one's going to be your error light so if there's something wrong this will flash. Yeah, you know, I suggest looking at the manual to let you know what it's going to be. This one's going to be charging so this one will light up. It was yellow for us to show that it wasn't fully charged then it turned green here which means it's fully charged and it's maintaining it right now using the clips they do have a nice snap to them so i don't have to worry about them falling off pretty easily especially when i got a side post mounted battery there's not a lot for it to clip onto so it's important that's going to stay in place so we're just going to go positive then negative and then it's hooked up and see right now it's reading the battery it went from yellow to green, letting us know it's fully charged. One of the nice things about this is you can actually get rid of the clips if you don't want to use it. If you want a more permanent solution, you can mount this inside a vehicle. That's more for something that you're going to leave out for the winter, like a lawnmower or a golf cart that you got to park away. You can hook up the eyelets and then permanently mount this to the battery. And you see the housing on the outside even has holes to run zip ties or screws if you want to mount it in onto that lawnmower or golf cart. That way you just pull it up and plug it into the wall and it'll keep it running or at least keep the battery charged and maintained over the winter. They're going to have six feet of cord. So that's one, the one that goes to the outlet here. And then the one where you hook up your accessory, whether it is the eyelets or the clamps, that's what you're going to get with this. So it's not too short if you want to bundle some of it up maybe you don't need it all you can park a little closer to the wall than we do you have a workbench or something that'll work nicely there now another thing to consider is with the eyelets it's got a built-in 15 amp fuse right here so that's going to protect any feedback or anything so that it's not going to upset or damage any electronics on either side of that another thing with the five-step charging process it goes through when you hook it up it's going to take a look at the battery make sure it's not dangerous to be hooked up to it then it'll slowly see how low it is and give you that readout and then it'll assess how much charge it needs to give it to get it back up to 100 percent on the sae connector it also has a weatherproof cap that you can put on there so if you don't have any of the accessories hooked up to it you can put it on there and it'll protect it from any dirt or water the case itself is waterproof too so you don't have to worry about when you do go to permanently mount it the rain's not going to hurt it and the dirt the dust and dirt's not going to get to it either it's got an IP54 rating, so that's going to be that dust protection. So it's not just limited to cars. You can use it on trucks, boats, motorcycles, whatever you need to charge slowly and just keep that battery maintained, it's going to work on. Either way, I think it's going to be a handy thing to have, whether you're charging something all winter or you just need to top off your battery. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helps.